hey my loves welcome back to the channel i'm so happy to be back with yet another video and today i'm gonna be sharing what i eat in a day summer edition you guys know it's already summer i'm just so excited let's just go ahead and get started So let me just say this off the back guys one thing about me when it comes to the summertime is i so much believe that summertime is the perfect time to relax to enjoy the weather to enjoy all the food i so much believe that you find like you find your summer body in winter so that way you're already like good to go but when it comes to summer guys like i take summer to just relax enjoy myself eat as much as i can that's just the truth guys and if you guys notice sometimes I always gain weight, you know, during the summertime. If you've been, you know, if you've been a lover of my channel, you would notice this. Like, I gain a little bit of weight during the summer because I just, I love summer. Like, I, I take the summertime to relax, to enjoy. Because, come on, the weather, it's nice, you know. You just enjoy it while it's, it lasts. So, the first thing I always do whenever I wake up is to go ahead and fix myself a very nice cup of coffee. As you guys can see. And, of course, since the weather is so nice i love to go outside relax especially early in the morning you just listen to the birds you know to the nice weather everything and once i'm done with my coffee i just take the time to kind of make up my bed just do a little bit of my you know my morning shows and then i fix myself a very nice breakfast and while i'm doing this of course the kids are off to, uh, of are off to school is is you know usually sleeping at this time and around this time is already probably around like 8 or 8 30 you know so I just quickly fix myself coffee and around like 9 you know I then fix my breakfast like 9 9 15 9 30 within that range I fix myself my breakfast and of course you guys know you can never go wrong with a very nice like toasted bread egg and for me you know apart from the toasted bread and egg I love to do kind of a is it guacamole or whatever it's called but basically it's you know you using um, some avocado and I just love to kind of not spice it just season it not season just add like my black pepper my salt you know to make it taste really really good and OMG like guys this particular you know breakfast it's so easy to make and oh it hits the spot like I love me my toasted bread egg and my avocado and the avocado actually acts as a like butter you know how like usually when you're eating bread you you know you 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 spread some butter on your bread but the avocado actually acts as the butter to the bread and yeah it tastes so good it tastes amazing you guys know avocado mm, it knows how to reach the spot and of course so when it comes to you know something to drink i usually would make myself a very nice smoothie like i said the summertime i've noticed that during the summertime guys we have like varieties of fruits and veggies oh my gosh look at that the banana the banana actually <laughs> fell off from my hand but yeah you know during the summertime we have a lot of fruits and veggies so i love to take advantage of that we have mangoes we have corn we have like you guys and another thing i also notice is that sometimes you know they are actually more affordable during the summertime so anyways over here i'm fixing myself a cup of smoothie i added my banana i added my pineapple like i usually buy a bunch of pineapple cut it up and then store it in the in the freezer so that was what was in the bag i just added to the blender and then over here i'm gonna add my spinach i'm gonna add milk you know to help and um, blend the whole smoothie together and that is basically it like my breakfast is ready and good to go and of course this is not something i like i i don't follow it step by step like this you know every single day but this is kind of the majority of let me say like majority of what i eat in a day you know you know how it is like sometimes i don't like repeating the same thing but when it comes to my breakfast of course my bread must be there my egg you know and then other things to follow so this is kind of a summary of what the main things i eat 
in a day not every single day I, i'm not sure if you guys understand what i'm saying but yeah i i'm gonna go ahead and pour my smoothie inside the cup and also when it comes to this um green smoothie i love to add a little bit like i love to sprinkle a little bit of of um grounded cinnamon it gives it this very nice unique taste that i absolutely love and also mixing it in with some ice Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. And then I'm just going to relax and have me a very nice, quiet breakfast. And please don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying this video. Don't forget because sometimes you guys just forget, but don't forget. If you're looking for a very quick and easy breakfast, you definitely have to try this recipe, guys. It's so easy and also the smoothie, the avocado, the egg, you know, everything is all balanced um, diet. So, of course, after my breakfast, around probably the brunch time, like 12 noon, 11, it all depends. I always, you know, find myself craving something to eat or a snack or something. And you guys, if you know me, you know I I love me my um, peanut butter and apple. So it's apple, you just cut it off and then you have your peanut butter. Actually, like the first time I tried this particular snack, I didn't really, you know, like it. But oh my gosh, like with time, you know, I just started trying it out and trying it out. And now, like whenever I think about snack, guys, apple and peanut butter is usually like the first thing in my head. You know, that's usually what I reach for. And yeah, I have my apple and peanut butter right here. And this is kind of my brunch, you know, like my snack brunch a meal hey hey guys so let's do a little outfit of the day you guys first of all if you've never tried apple and peanut butter like what are you like apple and peanut butter it gets to the spot guys like it's a very good snack i usually like to take it like around the brunch you know time especially like when i'm craving for a snack my apple and peanut butter is, you know, what I usually reach um, for. But right here, guys, let me just quickly do a little outfit of the day. I have my slippers, I don't know, sandals, slides, I guess that's what it's called. Everything I have on right here is from Walmart, guys. Like, it's from walmart.com. Of course, I'm going to link everything in my description box, but I absolutely love 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 these slippers guys it's a perfect summer you know slide it's so comfortable and it's kind of padded so that way like your feet doesn't hurt this is like the best i believe 24 dollars everything i have here is like a little above 50 dollars guys so i have i have this pants right here as you guys can see you can never go wrong with a very nice you know shorts for summer and then i decided to pair it with this um with this shirt right here but then i just tied it like the, the shirt is you know if you want to wear the shirt like a very simple look you can wear it this way but of course you guys know me i love doing things extra so i just you know went ahead and tied it but if you want to wear it this way you can as you guys can see like it's a very simple, chic, you know, summer look. If you've never tried apple and peanut butter, please try it. You have to try it guys like hopefully you don't get addicted because apple and peanut butter can actually be addictive and uh, i'm enjoying it like i love me some apple and peanut butter but anyways guys it's lunch time what time is it it's lunch time what time is it it's time for lunch so and for lunch guys i'm gonna be making beans and rice and um gravy and chicken you know all those good stuff so i went ahead and picked my beans you know what i mean like picking beans picking beans is not it's not easy 
<laughs> so I went ahead and picked my beans to make sure there are no stones because these beans I actually buy from African market and of course if you're back home from Nigeria you know sometimes we have like you know things in our beans so of course you have to pick it you have to make sure you wash it and apart from washing it like when I wash my beans and then cook it per boil it for maybe five ten minutes I love to rinse out that water because that is actually what causes bloating and you know all those things we don't like about beans so once I went ahead and did that I'm gonna go ahead now and cut up um, my vegetables my tomato my pepper blend everything together my onion because we're gonna be making stew you know they call it gravy over here in the US but I'm gonna be making stew you know to go with the rice the beans and everything and of course you guys like you if you if you've watched my videos you know I've shared recipe on how I love to make my Nigerian stew so I didn't really go into details with that you know in this video because I believe I've already filmed that for you guys so if you want to check that out it's somewhere on my channel or I can leave um I can leave um, a pop-up link or whatever on the screen but yeah for my chicken today I'm gonna be doing um, chicken breast sometimes people be like oh my bell is your only chicken drumsticks you people eat in your house <laughs> and the truth is my husband he's a lover of drumsticks so most times I just find myself only using drumsticks to cook but yep I just decided to switch it up, you know, but recently we've actually been eating a lot of um, chicken breast because it's so perfect, especially when you're making salads. Like my husband, in, he's, my husband is so into salad now. So, you know, we always have chicken breast. But anyways, guys, I went ahead and seasoned up, spiced up my chicken breast. And now I'm going to go ahead and, is it saute or whatever it's called? And another thing is you guys know that chicken breast don't take that much to to cook like 10 20 30 minutes you're already done with your chicken breast so i just went ahead and you know fried it or sauteed it and that is basically it and over here our stew is already done like i said if you want to check how i make my stew the recipe is somewhere on my channel and that is basically it guys as you guys can see i have my rice i have my beans and then i have my gravy and ah this meal, like this meal hits the right spot, guys. Of course, I'm going to relax and have myself a very nice um, lunch. And another thing is, whatever you guys see me, like from my lunch to my dinner to whatever, this is like, I make it in large quantity because this is basically, I can actually also title this video, what my family eats in a day because whatever you guys see me eat, you know, is also what I serve my family in a day. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going to, relax and enjoy my lunch and also with the lunch like i told you guys i'm enjoying every bit of the fruit you know this season so i love to enjoy my lunch with my banana especially when it comes to rice and beans you know banana goes so well with it and of course it's time for dinner i wish it's this fast guys i i, I had lunch like around one or two and now dinner is usually like around 6 37 so for dinner we are keeping it really really light like i told you guys we've really been into you know salad so i just went ahead and added my salad and over here i'm gonna add some chickpeas some corn um dried cranberry um croissant my egg my um chicken you know just make a very nice balanced plate of salad and this tastes so good guys and of course when it comes to my dressing i'm gonna be using my chick-fil-a dressing you guys if you watched more one of my vlogs in the past you guys remember i took a trip to target looking for this particular dressing because like i enjoy chick-fil-a salad a lot you know i love to buy their salad but you know sometimes you just want to make it at the comfort of your home and that salad dressing the chick-fil-a salad dressing always does it for me But yeah, guys, as you guys can see, I downed down that plate of salad. Ah, <laughs> I downed it down, guys. But of course, 
Because when it comes to the night time, especially when, you know, I'm up at night, maybe watching a movie, which I'm doing right now, guys. There's this movie on Netflix. It's a show on Netflix that is keeping me on my feet. It's called The Surrogate. If you've not seen this movie, guys, make sure to, ch to check it out. So whenever I'm kind of relaxing, maybe watching a movie in the night, I just love to snack on some fruits and ah, a very nice juicy ba uh, um, mango does it for me. But yep, you guys, I believe that is all there is to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and also subscribe and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.